Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Just making sure those aren't on. <laughs> we just had a uh, witch come in and scream. We handled her quite quickly. I was working on the, uh, the uh, garage, uh, removing actually some blocks from the back when the whole thing started happening. I didn't, don't even know if I finished when I started back here. I did. I removed all those extra plates from this side. And up in there, and we're going to do the whole thing in concrete, and then we'll paint it, of course. We'll paint it. We're going to do that right there. Give it kind of a wood siding look to it. You guys probably saw it on the other side. And then I got some trim around it, some simple trim. I brought the uh, roof out, uh, so we've got a bit of an eave going on here. So we'll, you know, we're going to solidify it. Then i got to go see Bob today. We've got, we've got to go see Bob. Uh, what else do we have to do today? The farm hasn't been done, but I'm not too concerned about it because I've got quite a bit of ingredient. I know I could do larger paint areas, but I'm going to hold off on that at the moment. I kind of like doing it this way. Feels good to me. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do some painting. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It is a new week. It's Monday. Monday. Everyone is doing fantastic. So I thought we'd do a little bit of this today. Get the garage looking a little bit nicer. Now, my regret here is not using a whole block on this wall so that I could put trim around these windows. I kind of screwed that part up. Because this is the uh, outer block here. So nothing's going to stick up against that anymore. So next time what I do is a, is, a, is, a, is a solid block is what I would use on that instead. So I don't have that problem again. We got all that painted. And then see, I'm going to put the trim pieces on here too. And on the corners, like I've got in the back here, I want those in the front. And then the windows, I guess I'll paint a different color. Uh, we can't, like I said, put anything on the in, on the outside of these windows or the outside of these walls. So I, that is something I would probably do differently next time. For now, though, it's nice. I'm going to work around it and see what I come up with. But I know I can't decorate those windows. We do have to paint the inside differently than the outside just to, you know, make it look different. At the moment, I'm painting the whole block. Uh, and then I got to decide what I want to do for trim. And these guys all have to be upgraded too. Oop, um, oh, am I out of wood? <sighs> I'm out of wood. Looks like I got to go chop down My some trees. Have picked up something. Oh, there's a snake. I heard it. I saw it. Oh, God, that just scared me. Reload. Come on. Look at you. Oh, gross. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working on the garage until we can go down and see Bob. I figured I could upgrade the whole thing and be done with it, but I can't because, well, for the sole fact that I need wood now. Oh, well, those are those um, purple pine seeds we planted. I forgot about that. They're the ones that come with the snow. I think I may have mentioned that in the video that I thought they might, but they definitely did. These trees out here are going to come with some snow. Yeah, snow on them. That's what the purple ones do. Those purple seeds. Okay, so wow, it's been kind of busy here today with the uh, with the mobs. Let's go chop down some trees. I'll take the bike. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door because we don't need any aggravation like that. Oh, and I also figured out why our dart trap did not work. I'll show that to you as well. If I don't get too sidetracked. I've got it fixed now. And I think I came up with a solution to it. Which is one of the things I was supposed to get done overnight. And I, you know, I start something and then I walk away and I think about something else. Because I'm waiting for something to craft or whatever. And then that distracts me. And then I wind up working on something different. It's this vicious cycle. But it's a really fun one. So I don't mind it so much. And here's our axe. Our handy dandy axe. Oh, you know what? I should have brought our chainsaw. Well, I'm here. Let me grab a little bit of this just this way. I'll get like a thousand. We'll make it simple. That should be enough to get me through the garage project, I think. I think it's supposed to be right here. Yeah, right there. Perfect, just like that. Just like that. Perfect, right? Exactly. There we go. We got you guys right here. And bump, and a bump. 
perfect just like that and let's grab our nail gun and let's lock it in okay I think we're good there I like it okay beautiful we got some trim pieces on there which you know that really helps it a lot I think the trim pieces if you don't have the trim on there then it's just a little too flat I'm not quite super pleased with how this turned out it's not exactly what I probably could have done but in the long run it looks pretty nice and I think we could do we could do some kind of a loft in here we definitely could get away with that I think It'd be easy to do I'm hoping I could reach everything from here almost everything okay I'm still upgrading but I feel like this is a this is a good project for us since it is pretty crappy out right now the weather it's just awful Jeep makes a nice place to stand. <laughs> it really does. It's quite helpful. Oh my gosh, this storm is insane. Look how dark it is outside. It's nighttime. It's it's worse than nighttime. Yeah, it surely is. It's awful. Uh, I need to get up on the roof. I should almost have like a ladder of some sort that I get up on the roof here if I needed to. This could be another possible escape route, right? I mean, it could be. Uh, I didn't think about that until just this very second. Now I'm wondering, okay, where the heck are you going to put a ladder? Because you just put trim pieces on. You did that sort of stuff there. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, look at this. It's almost done. So I kind of regret putting these plates on here because I'm taking them all off at the moment for the sole fact that, yeah, they would make it so that I actually couldn't do... I couldn't place anything on here. Like, um, maybe I want to have like a porch light attached to the garage or something, you know? So, it's nice to have this open. Granted, it could take more damage, but again, I don't think, I don't think anybody's going to really mess with this too much. You know? I mean, if I'm in here right now, then sure, it's going to probably take some damage, but I'm not in here very often. Uh, yeah, let's go up there. Do that. Nice. I guess I didn't do both sides. I started out that way, but for some reason it uh, didn't continue that on. So then I was thinking in here we could do something, well, something different, of course. Uh, let's go into here. I'm thinking just some rough slatted wood that goes left to right. What is this? Wood siding log cabin, wood siding tan. No. Plywood? No, that wouldn't work. Burnt wood, no. Garage door, rough cut wood. You know, I guess maybe plywood wouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's try plywood. It might get to be too much of a blend, huh? Their footsteps. Here comes a horde. They're going through the driveway. Let's watch them. Can I kill them without them being alerted to me? Missed him. Okay, he stopped walking, so they're going to kind of stop right over there. He's working his way back here. Oh. Well, they have no idea. That's awesome. Let's get that twitchy guy before he starts twitching again. No. It's much better when they stop moving. It's difficult to hit them on the move. Oh, okay. I might be able to figure out just how far I have to lead them. Nope. A little maybe too far there. Let's get Big Mama. There's Pete. There we go. 
Oh, that was nice. I like that. That's fun. Okay, that's a good time right there. That is a good time. I went ahead and did the whole thing. Well, except up under here. Jeez. As he says it. Those would be some pretty heavy beams, right? I guess is what I'm going for here. Maybe some pretty heavy beams to be dealing with. Got those big trusses holding all that stuff up. Uh, we do need you here. I'm going to put you guys on the inside. I'm going to put those guys right there. I like that right there. That looks good to me. Uh, I guess I do have these panels here that I need to get rid of, huh? I didn't realize that those were still here. But I should be able to get rid of these guys right here and then paint that and then I'll have this kind of ironed out and then I'm just I don't know I don't want to I think with the roof I'm gonna go with the blue stuff like the blue metal or the uh, red metal something like that Oh, forgot these guys awesome the paneling is growing on me I think because I stopped it right there and I didn't continue it all the way up Hello, dear. You're in the way a little bit. Friend, only thing I have to talk to in the whole world. Except for Bob, of course. But here we are. We've got another storm. The sun came out for just a second there. Did you see it? Ooh, the garage. What are we going to paint the... Let's try the windows with the same kind of trim. Maybe that'll make them look... I don't know. I, like I said, I would do the walls a little different, I think. You know, I'd plan ahead a little bit differently on it. Right now, I like them. They're good. But it makes me, it gives me ideas for the next time I build something. I think we're, oop, right here. There we go. And you. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We just need to do the, the roof now. And I'm thinking... Uh, the roof materials are up here. We got the blue metal roof. We got a green metal roof. And uh, this red can be kind of used as that. I can see there is a clay tile. I don't think a clay roof is what I'm looking for. Um, maybe I like the green metal one better. Let's see. What is this going to look like? I'm going to wrap the whole thing in it. Uh, yeah, that's going to make it look all kind of... Nope, it does. It lines up, looks like. Looks really good this way here. I love this. This looks great. This is exactly what I was looking for. So yeah, maybe if I could paint the underside a little something different, um, it'll look better um, when you're walking around it. Just to give it the, the the appearance of having like some, you know, tucked up under eaves. If you paint that darker, maybe it'll just kind of give it that appearance. But I like how the roof looks this way. So when we're flying over with the gyro, it should look pretty cool, right? Our place should look pretty nice. Okay, there's our roof. That looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. It's very nice. How are we looking? Kind of hard to tell, huh? Because it's just so, uh, it's so dark. Well, it looks better than it did. Let's get this parked in here. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should finish up the floor while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, and we will copy that pic. There we go. Give me that. Oh, here's the sun. Here's the sun. Okay, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Got the work done. All right, beautiful. Let's close it up. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's better. And like I said, if I could paint up under here, just a, a darker color, we'll do that. It may give it just uh, give it the appearance of having eaves. But yeah, that's going to look nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go over here and take a look and see. Whoop. Uh, okay, so I didn't hit this over here. I need to get this painted over here. Do I have paint on me? I've got plenty of paint on me still. All right, so I'm missing a piece over here. Let's go like this. 
picker and back to R again and we're going to paint all sides again and here we go. There we go. Let's check this side too. Okay, got that side as well. Yeah, that looks better. That looks good. I like it. I think I could probably do the windows with just the dark, uh, the dark pipe metal that we've been using, that black metal, rusted metal. I think that might work better up here. Might not even be bad under the eaves too to give it that look right there. That might be the darkness that uh, I am looking forward to make that kind of um, blend in. But we have a garage now. I'd say it's finished. Outside of maybe a little paint. It doesn't really need it anymore. I don't think it needs any paint, really. I think it looks good. I like it. So the, the Jeep is, you know, the truck is tucked away nicely in here. <laughs> Look how clean that garage is. It's the cleanest one ever. It surely is. All right. Sweet. The truck is in good shape. All right. I'm going to drop off all this stuff in my inventory. And then we're going to go head down to Bob and see, is he offering me tier six jobs? Or do I have to do another five for him? Because I'm not exactly sure. We'll get to Bob in a second. Welcome back. Let's grab this, this. I want a little more of that, a little more of that. I got a little bit of that. I think I've got a bunch of that being made in here, actually. Oh, yeah, there it is. 6,000. We had run out of cobble. Concrete's getting a little low, too. A little low for my taste. I would like to have that get back up again. I've got uh, the nail gun. I've got that. And give me a 1,000 cobble just in case for some reason. I figured out why the... Uh, the dart trap and stuff did not work. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys back up here for now. Oh, that looks great. It needs a light right here. It needs a, a, just a cheap, inexpensive light. We need to run another power pole somewhere along here so that we can hook into it and have just a, just a light running on the outside of the garage. I'll probably just leave that lantern on the inside. It doesn't really help out here at all. Um, okay, so down into the trap we go. Boop. The other thing I noticed the other night when we had our horde was that there was none of the lights in the pit. None of the lights were on in the pit all the way down. So what happened was, and I still need to dig this out. Maybe this is a project for one of our, one of, one of my nights here. I need to come down here and just line this with blocks so they get through here just fine and easy. I, th I can't remember now if I did or did not have this locked or unlocked at the time. I believe I did. What it was is the connection way up top. Oh, I don't even know how. I, I guess I got to go up there and show it to you. The other thing, power duration, power delay. I did not ever click on this to see this. Thank you for letting me know this in the comments. The trigger plate has a timer on it. Power delay, instant, one second. Oh my God, okay. Awesome. You could alter this to decide how long you want it triggered for. So if you do have, and you don't need this big one like this either. You really wouldn't need it. You could put a single one here uh, to tell the dart trap to fire for 15 seconds so that as the zombie is going up this chute, he's getting shot in the buttocks all the way up. So that would work. That would work. Uh, I want to go up here real quick. Stay with me, please. We are going to go and I want to show you. We need to go up this way. Well, hold on. First thing I need to do is I need to make a iron hatch. That shouldn't take too long, right? It's just a little bit of iron. I think it's 10 iron. Let's grab some iron and we're going here. And I want to do an iron hatch. Iron Hatch, craft that bad boy up. Thank you so much. A minute, 29 seconds. That's no problem. Okay, and we're going to put you back in there. Okay, so ooh, we should do this as well. All the dew collectors, I'm sure, are quite full. Yeah, they are. All right, let's not waste that. I have so much water now that I've actually got it um, spilling over into my other drink chest here. But... Uh, that won't last for long, will it? I'm going to need to get uh, glue made. But yeah, this one's all full of water now, so that's great. So I'm going to make a bunch of glue. 
Uh, what else was I gonna do? Oh, we're waiting on our, our door. See, that's what happens. See, I, I, I come in here waiting for this to craft something. And then um, I get sidetracked. Pleasantly sidetracked. I should close that door. When I'm not in range of those guys, they don't do me any good whatsoever. Uh, let's go back in here. 34 seconds. Uh, anything else I could think of about the base I need to tell you guys about? Oh, I went through our sellable stuff. Well, most of it. I, I, all this appears for sale. Uh, and I put over here our level sixes that I wanted to keep. So those are over there. We've got our auger here too. I don't think I have a chainsaw. Is there one in the building box and I just don't notice it? I thought we got one. Yeah, there's a tier five chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. And it's got mods on it. I should be using that when I go out and cut wood. I'll, I'll try, I will try to remember that in the future. I'm so used to using my axe, I don't think about it anymore. All right, hatch. Beautiful. Okay, I need to go out here. I think I left my blocks installed over here. So what I did was I've added a second relay in here. And the second relay is just going to take the weight off the one. I had everything coming. Either it was coming off the generator or it was coming off of a relay or, or off of this relay. So I had like three things coming off of here and a four, I think you can have up to five things on here. It's just, if that one relay goes down, it all goes down, right? It's just shot. So what I did was this relay right here is now in charge of all of the upper traps for these three blade traps, as well as the um, uh, electric fence. This other one is in charge of, well, that's going to the electric fence as well. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. No, wait a minute. This first one here, this one, right? This one here is going to, yeah, this has got the one that's got the three coming off of it. This is the one, sorry guys. This first one here is running all the traps that are up here, uh, including the electric fence, which is cutting across here like this. Uh, the other one, this one down here is the one line and it is going down underneath here. Um, we had, they broke out this one. I guess I could have gone at this the other way. They broke out the one. I need to go down there. I really don't need to go down there. I could probably reach that from here. Let's grab the nail gun. They had broke out this right here. We have it now uh, tucked in, tucked away behind a bit of a platform now. Oh, I can't do that there. Okay, let's go ahead and try to build a little something safe to get on. There we go. So now what I have is I've got a door here and you can't see it, but <laughs> there is a relay there. Uh, can I do that? And then there we go. Let's put this down here. There we go. So now you can see there's a relay up in there. So before what we did was we just had it sitting there and cop spit or something hit it or hit in this area and completely annihilated it. So I'm hoping that having this shield right here is going to help. And then I put a hatch here. So... I can get in there later to fix it or do what needs to be done with it, but then that was the, this is the one that got eliminated and it was gone. Um, yeah, so that relay is coming into here and then that is going down and uh, connecting with everything down below us here. Uh, I, I don't want to get too close to the edge because I'll fall and wind up breaking my leg or something. But that's what's going on down there. Holy cow. All right, so that's what I did to fix that problem. Now, what I wanted to do was find out if it is actually working. I think if I unlock the ammo down here, it won't fire. And I come down here, I can lock the ammo and give it a quick test to make sure that thing is shooting darts and then see if it's also causing damage to this ladder over here. Oh, wow. This is really damaged, this this uh, trigger plate. Looks to me like maybe they get a little stuck in here while they're walking. Either that or the dart trap is causing damage over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to um, 
get a little more stuff to make sure I got this trigger plate fixed. Wow, I ran out of forged iron. I can't fix it anymore. I need more forged iron. That took quite a bit. Uh, let's unlock that at the moment. Okay, so this needs even more. That is an expensive uh, item to fix right there, that trigger plate. Now, it's lasted us, though, a few different horde nights. So, in the last one, it just got a bunch of traffic and didn't have to do anything at all other than go click, click. So, it's unfortunate I kind of wasted it. Let's, um... Let's get a little bit more of that. I took half of what I had up here. I'm making a little bit more, but I don't have a lot of forged iron on me anymore. Uh, we'll do that, and then I think what I want to do is turn this on. I don't think it sh it shouldn't shoot at us. The uh, what should we call it? Are not uh, the darts are not locked? Yeah. So let's leave this like that, and then we'll pull up the uh, drawbridge too as we go over it here. There we go. Perfect. Down we go. Oh, did I see a block? Oh, I did. Yeah, everything needs a, a little bit of TLC. I gotta go around and make sure we do that. I don't think I've done that yet since the, uh, in it. Since the last horde. It's so weird how they don't, uh, <laughs> the hitbox doesn't register. Okay, so this is all working now. We got the siren again. The lights are on all the way up. Yep, I got lights all the way up so I can see. So really all, and if I, and now I'm, I'm kind of curious now. I'm, I've got this done. This is all fixed in here. Let's see what happens if I lock this in. Okay, let's turn that off. Did that cause damage over here? That did not cause any damage. Try it again. No damage. Maybe they changed what that does, because I've got no damage over here from the dart trap. If that's the case, super happy about that. Okay. Awesome. So. That is fixed. We could leave the dart trap exactly where it is. It should work in this next one. I got to turn it off and go back down there, relock the ammo. I'm not going to forget to do that. I'm going to do that right now. I think we're good. I think we're pretty good, anyways. It's not 100%. Like I said, I got to get the steel. But uh, a lot of this is taken care of now. We did have a few cops blow up off of here. I'm also shooting down this way. We could try to get an SMG pointing this direction out here, shooting back towards them as they come down. I'm actually thinking about taking the next Horde Knight and not shooting at all, unless I absolutely have to. Like there's one that's stuck, say, uh, up by the electric fence or something and stuck on the electric fence. I can make repairs, but I won't. I don't want to try to shoot and see if I can. The trap will actually just kill everything on its own. With me, of course, making repairs as we go along. I would kind of like to try that. You guys up for something like that? I'd like to see if it could take care of itself. But little settings again. But could it do it? Yeah, this area always takes a little bit of extra damage right here. I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. We could put some more of these plates back down and cover this up, make it look all nice again. Clean it up. I should probably do that too. Welcome back. All right, let's make sure we have gasoline in our generator down here. Daily routine. Every time I come on, well, there we go. A little, little refill going on right there. Uh huh. Uh, gasoline is something we're going to probably have to go out and get again. I think I'm a little low on the oil shale front uh, once again. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're not doing too bad. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I've got one can there, so that's not too shabby. Uh, and then I need to... Well, here. Hold on. We're just in here. I need to make sure this guy's got fuel in him. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I was just thinking to myself... 
I keep talking about steel, steel, steel. There's nothing saying I can't put crucibles in these guys and get them going on the steel front, you know? Um, concrete wise, we've got some. A lot of our building is here. Most of that concrete is going towards repairs now. Uh, the only thing, thing we're thinking about doing is doing kind of a hanger down there for the uh, gyro. Um, so I don't know what I want to do about that, but what I could easily do, like I said, with crucibles in here, get clay, get uh, that, you know, the, the metal cooking in here, and then, you know, have all four producing steel. This is my other issue. Yeah, that is pathetic. Why is this such a big box for such a little tiny bit of, I, I need, I need to go get iron. I need to go find iron. I do. I do, I do. I'm going to grab you. We're going to grab you. Going to make sure you are there. You are there because you are our friends and you are part of the group. That's what you do. You help us kill stuff. All right. I'm going to go over and see Bob. I'm curious to see, are we still getting uh, offers for the tier five jobs or are we moving on to the other? I don't know. Can I make this turn without hitting that barrel, please? Please don't bang the barrel. Oh, beautiful. All right. Awesome. 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 Get up on the runway, get up on the runway, and off we go. Oh, perfect. It's a perfect takeoff every time. Scanning the radio station. You're on. All right, uh, we're going over to Bob's. I think I might take you for a bit of the flight with me. It's always nice to fly through seven days. Don't you agree? It's a good time. I enjoy skimming the earth and looking at what is below. I really enjoy the... Um, some of the best stuff is in the city when you're flying over the buildings and you see the big help um, different signs and stuff it's just really really cool really gives you that feeling you know the buildings that uh, I like the buildings that are next door to those oil refineries the gas refineries that have uh, explosive damage to them because they were too close to that when it went off you know I think that's really neat how well that's put together to help tell a story of you know absolute chaos and destruction that occurred uh, when the uh, the, you know, the virus broke out. The pandemic. We don't want to run into that right there. Did I... Oh, there's the semi. I was like, where's the semi at? Let's go see Bob. Let's go see Bob. There we go. Perfect. Let's go see what he's... Let's, what's he offering for jobs? Yesterday, last episode, which was yesterday, I didn't actually play in here at all this weekend. Uh, I'm with you the whole time at the moment. Well, except for, of course, you know, overnight we did some work off camera. Hey, Bob. What's going on? Good morning. Oh, I mean, good afternoon. Uh, let's see. Do you have any jobs? Well, he, we are still on five. Well, okay. I guess we got to do one more for him. Uh, okay. I thought we were done, but then I thought to myself over the weekend, I thought, you know what? He didn't give you the extra Can bonus. What is my problem? Coleman's Drive-In. I love it. Let's it's do it. You are right, Bob. Okay, so we got to do that for him. When's his inventory changing? Day 61, huh? All right, day 61. Does he have anything new here? He doesn't. I believe we've... Yeah, we've... Okay. Maybe next time. Yeah, whatever. See you later, Bob. Yeah, so he doesn't have anything new for us at the moment. Day 61, which is, uh, you know, coming up shortly. 59 and all. Um... Well, I don't want to start a tier five job at 2.40 in the afternoon. It's only 2.1 kilometers away. It's pretty close. I'm thinking maybe there's other things I could get done around the base. Well, that gives us all the free time in the world to go do our tier six missions for Bob, you know? Get those taken care of. The base is looking pretty good. Gives you a good, good bird's eye view, though, the garage. The garage kind of blends in with the ground now that I look at it, huh? It does. There we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. And, yep, yep, yep. Slide it back, slide it back. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. That'll work just fine. <laughs> yeah, that roof blends in with the uh, the roadway here. I wonder if I should think of a different color, perhaps. I don't know. It looked it looked pretty nice. I, I guess it matches. 
we'll go that route with it, right? It matches. All right, I'll come back when I think of what I'm going to do next. But yeah, I think I'll stay around here today and finish a few projects up. We got the garage taken care of, and that feels good. The entranceway and our traps, pretty nice. Again, I wouldn't mind having a light on that thing. It sure would look cool. I want you to come with me. I want you to hook up right there. There we go. All right, that was uh, that was weird. Now, can I get from here to that light bulb? I can. Okay, so that means I don't need this guy here. Oh, I don't know if I could pick this one up either. I hope I can. I think we're out of or I think we're out of our area. Um. Yeah, I can't pick that up. That's okay. They're cheap. They're really cheap to make. No big deal. All right, so that's going to work that way. Like that. Maybe I should... Yes. See, I would like to... I would use a round, a round pole, I think. Um, but the um, relay itself is sitting on a square base, so... It just kind of hangs off the edge kind of oddly. You can also put these together to create more of a power line too, you know, where you can have multiples up there. But that is, uh, that's going to work out pretty sweet. Now, paint-wise, hmm, I'm thinking maybe something that looks like wood would be good. We've got this stuff here, but we already got that over here behind us on the garage. So I don't think we want to use the same kind of a thing here. Get yourself a paint job. Um, that's the, uh, you know what, this is the burnt wood siding. This is the stuff I think you see in the most of the garages and stuff like that. I think that's the one right there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at that real quick. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, it seems like that's the one. Something of that nature. Um... Okay, here's the wood black. I think this might... Oh, you know what? This might be the one I'm looking for, actually. Let's go R, and let's go ahead and do all sides. Yeah, that's the one right there. That's the one I was talking about earlier. It is. It is indeed uh, R, and then let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's get that texture back and pop you right in there. There we go. That's nice. I like that. Now, see, for me, for me, to add to the flavor of my apocalyptic base, I would like to see the wires draping through the skyline. You know, I maybe this helps with. I know people wanted the, to be able to hide the wires. Again, I don't know if I've said this before. Probably have. Is to make it so we can either show them or not show them because I think they add to the apocalyptic feel when you can see those wires draping around it just adds to the flavor if you ask me just like these burning barrels do you know that's how I feel about them uh, I think I need to go up and turn that, shut that yep there we go we'll shut that up too by the way these don't handle cop spit very well they don't have many hit points <laughs> They, they take some damage. Uh, okay, so we've got ourselves a uh, light now down at the garage. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Can we actually get it to work? It's all foggy out right now. Might as well. Got to watch out for the... Uh... There we go. See? Now we'll be able to see down there better too because we've got a nice big bright light. Don't go past this point though. You'll die. Um, hmm. Just thinking maybe I could put these electric fences on something that would uh, be a little more on off. You know, the gun and the shotgun stay on, but the fences, I can turn those off whenever I want to, to be able to walk through here back and forth without losing the effectiveness of these guys as well. Um, I could probably do that. I don't know if I want to, though. I kind of like the fact that they are all activated. We've seen a couple witch attacks here, and they, it doesn't take them long before those are busted, and they're on this one here too, so, um, yeah. And I think also, 
it would be better to have something more solid along here so that when the cops are running by out there and if they spit it doesn't quite hit this stuff these don't seem well i guess they've got 5,000 hit points like everything else but you know what i mean they just might reduce the amount of spit that you actually receive and then the fences would fare a little bit better uh with with that hap without that happening it's been fun though this is a good time this is a good time playing right here i'll enjoy fighting here it's a good time all right so that takes care of that that went really fast the stone okay let's turn this off let's turn that off it works we saw it you guys will see that other times at night for sure i love it okay beautiful I enjoy the electrical work in the game. I think it's a good time. Now, I'm curious about this stone. What does this stuff look like? I almost feel like it's one of those things where you've got to pick a spot in the carpet where you don't want it to show. That's that's dirt right there. What if I put you right there? What happens? You turn into... I'm trying to see what you, what you turned into. I don't think I'm hitting the right spot. Okay, that's stone. I guess it's... I don't know. What if I do... What if I do, let's say, a few right in front of uh, the drive? You know, where you your tires would constantly be kicking the gravel out of here, you know, because it's just... It's the nature of the beast. It's, it's gravel. You know, it moves. What if I do a little something like that right there and a little over here? And we take this and we put this in here. We get a little bit of a kind of a smoother area. Tires have done a little extra turning and stuff right in there. Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Matter of fact, I think I would actually do that right here a couple times as well. Like there. Just just to just kind of do that. Um, God, I almost don't want to mess with this area at all because it was just so wonky. Let's not do anything here. <laughs> I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it. I don't. I'm a chicken. And I ain't afraid to say it. Uh, let's do a little bit of stone here. A little stone work there. And maybe I put... I've got the wood there. I don't want to put it right up against this because it just doesn't look quite right. What if I put a little bit of stone here maybe? Like that. Nice boulder right there. Yeah, that looks good, right? Oh, you know what? Then Maybe a tree would be good. Maybe putting a... Well, what kind of tree? It can't grow into the barn or the uh, garage, and it can't really block view either. I'm thinking one of the pine trees is probably the best idea, but they're pretty dang tall, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I could do something different with this area right here. But there's a boulder right there. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. Um, I'm thinking about actually adding a little bit of stone just like this right here in some areas just to give it kind of a, a stony feel you know maybe i do something like that right there that looks kind of nice right there uh, this indents really nice right through there i like that but this here is kind of an issue because i've got gravel going up on the side there a little too far so i don't like that some of this i've not been back to to you know kind of fix so that's kind of cool right there that's neat that turned it into kind of a rusty rusty dirt right there uh, we got one right here too. Uh, let's get that one up. Oh, where are you? There you are. I got you. The ground's a little weird right here, so uh, let's go ahead and throw you right there, and we'll throw you right there. There we go. Nice. Okay, then this. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'm going to put some stone back in there. It's going to look like a kind of a stony outcropping here. Okay, I think we should be able to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do this right in here. Like 
like that. And we'll just do this right back in there. Covers up all that dirt. And it makes a nice stony uh, overhang there. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And we'll do a little more right here. Yeah, that cleans that up really nice. Okay, sweet. Let's do that. We'll do one there. That cleans that up. Uh, we got a mess right in here. We'll do one of those right there. I don't want to get too narrow. I don't want to narrow the place up, but I do want to make it look nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think that helped a lot. Let's also do right here. Well, it really pulls that gravel up, doesn't it? Um, you know what? I'm okay with that, actually. Let's go ahead and do here too. Oh, this is some deep. This is some deep dirt right here, man. <laughs> Like I said, the ground's a little weird right here. That's okay. We can fix it up. This rock is going to look great right here. Boom. Just like that. There we go. That's good. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I went too far. That's not going to work with that radio. you got to use your pick. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do this too right here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice right there. I like that. Looks like I may have done a little bit of that right here. Just throw some rock right there. Maybe another boulder here too. There we go. How's that, right? That's nice. Oh, 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 oh. See? Went too far. Went too far. Leave it like that. You got yourself a... Ooh, wow, I could have set myself on fire there. Get yourself a nice boulder there. Okay, sweet. I think I've got trees in my um, storage. Tree seeds? I think I do. I'm bound to, right? I'm bound to have some tree seeds. Where would they be? Out here? Uh, yeah, let's try a couple of oaks. We'll see if we can place these guys, and I'll just grab those guys, too. I don't want too many oaks out here, because that just doesn't make any sense. I'm going to drop that, and you know what? I really shouldn't drop that. What I should do is turn that into cloth. Can I do that? Yeah, cloth fragments. Oh, I need... Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough. Gotcha. I'll throw it in there. I keep it now. You make cloth. Cloth is important. It's a huge deal. All right, so where do I feel like I could put a tree that isn't going to cause me too much grief coming in and going, but it's going to really add some value to the property? <laughs> I know, right? Um, I do like the fact that these guys are here. I, I don't know if I like the fact that they're snow covered, but maybe we could pull something off to make it look like they're supposed to be here. What if we do this? Sort of a... Do something like that right there. Maybe I mix in some of these green ones with it and it doesn't look quite so weird. We'll replant a bit of the forest here. Do some behind it. Um, maybe some like mixed right in here really close so that they, uh, you know, just kind of fill in. Be a nice border out here looking out the window too from inside the house. You know, we do have the big bedroom window there that would be nice to see all these trees. And uh, it's okay that they look planted by us because they were planted by us. We decimated the landscape and now we've brought some of it back. Uh, I've got two oaks. I'm thinking oaks oaks should be back here behind the turnaround. The turnaround there. Huh. Look at our place, man. It's big, huh? I love it. I love being in here running around my world. I do. I don't have to get too much of anything done. <laughs> Just messing around all day is uh, a lot of fun. Uh, okay, so maybe... Maybe we do one here. We've got that nice one right there. 
And let's do another one, say, up on this hill here. Right up on this hill. Uh, I need to go all the way to the ground. There you go. It's almost on the ground. It'll grow in. Something like that right there. And then we'll have those trees, and I'll... Tr oh, I won't cut them. I won't cut them. We've got our tree farm right over there, which has worked out, by the way. Great. That's like 30 trees. You get 10 trees, you fill it up on wood, and you're good to go. Uh, what else could I do here? Anything else? 1903. We did a whole day of uh, decorative stuff, electrical stuff, painting stuff. The only thing I did not accomplish that I probably should have put on my definitely get done list was to these guys here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to work out a, a cover for these guys. I don't think it was necessarily that they were taking damage from the zombies as this, the zombies taking damage on them is what was causing them to break. You know? We'll have to see. You know what? We'll, we'll test that out in the next one. We'll test that out in the next time we get a chance to do it. So let's see what happens. We'll have a little taste of winter down here. We got some other pine trees coming in. A couple of oak trees. We did, uh, I don't know, I think that I, we actually got quite a bit done today. But the garage is painted. Uh, there's nothing in it except for the truck. But, you know, it's it's it works. It's there. We got a light on it for nighttime. I'll have to bring you back so you guys can see that in the evening. And, um... You know, a little extra painting. We still have some more painting to do, too. So I should probably make some paint tonight as well. But I'm thinking I really need to crank out some steel. Oh, this isn't painted at all. Yeah, there's still quite a few things that need to be, you know, doctored up. They're not finished yet. I got part of the way and then didn't keep going. You know, like this. <laughs> so, you know, there's stuff. There's stuff that's, uh, you know, not visible to the, to the normal eye that needs to be done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.